Good morning guys. It is quarter to seven and I'm out for my walk. It is Saturday morning. So a few vlogs ago I promised that I would do a like how I stay motivated vlog. So here it is. This is the best time of the day. Why wouldn't you get up and get your shoes on and go for a walk? And I know sometimes you'd be like, oh, you could be asked. But once you start getting up and going out walking, you'll absolutely love it. I love it. It's like thinking time. No one mumming me. Okay, the first thing that I would have to say that really helps keep you motivated is doing my meal prep. I don't know, I just feel like my mind is more on like what I'm eating and stuff if I know what we're going to be eating um, and not letting it get to the point where you know you're so hungry that you're going to make a bad choice something to eat having it all ready is oh, so good so easy to whip up a salad and what I've actually been doing is when I've been like making a salad um, I've been making an extra one just a quick you know, a little bowl. Sorry, I got a chew in my mouth, so I'm trying not to like <laughs> show you. Um, but yeah, call it my plus one. So yeah, just having another little thing, you know, ready on hand. You're already chopping up the stuff, so why not? Um, the next thing that definitely helps keep me motivated is smashing out my workout in the morning, because then it's done. You know, I mean, obviously, if you work or you've got other commitments and stuff then you do it when you can yeah, I like to just get it done and I don't need to think about it then and I think another thing that keeps me motivated is just feeling comfortable in my own skin finally you know um, just eating just eating healthy and that you just feel so good your, your mind's clear definitely not as grumpy as I used to be <laughs> I used to be pretty grumpy when I was like fat. Angry fat woman. But not anymore. And also, I want to be a role model for my kids. I like to tell my kids why we're eating, you know, why we eat meat, what vitamins and stuff are in there, what's why is it good for us and just sort of teaching them. And another thing I love doing, I also say to my older daughter Talia. When you go grocery shopping, look look at someone who doesn't look so healthy and look what's in their trolley. It's not even about being skinny or anything like that. And then look at someone who looks healthy, you know, and look what's in their trolley. I always find that fascinating when I go to shops. So, yeah, we need to, with the kids, we need to get the, you know, you're going to get fat. You want to be skinny. We need to like get that sort of stigma away from just being healthy. Um, and I say to my kids, you know, we can have that, but it is a sometimes food, as they do on Sesame Street with Cookie Monster. <laughs> Another great thing is just having some snacks in your bag. Um, I'll sometimes put some grapes in my bag and I'll buy a few Quest bars. Uh, it's good to have one of those in my bag and my gym bag especially so I can get a bit of protein in after a workout. Um, but yeah, same thing. But even if I'm at the shop, um, like instead of buying lunch, I'll go into Woolworths and I'll buy some, like a six pack of bread rolls, multigram bread rolls. And I'll go to the deli and I'll get some ham or I'll get some turkey and I'll just sit down on the seat in the shopping centre, rip the bread roll open and <laughs> slap the meat in there and eat it. You've just got to think, you know, it's really, it's actually not that hard to sort of keep it all under control. And when we go out, like even in Bali, if there's any salad or anything, you know, just do the obvious, what they tell you, you know, sauce on the side or no butter on that. Um, you know, and if I get a Subway, I won't have cheese in it either. I love Subway. <laughs> yeah, and once you start losing a few kilos, oh, it just feels so good. And it doesn't take much just to sort of 
um, you know, just resisting little temptations just makes you that little bit stronger every time as well. Um, yeah, and although I've had a gastric sleeve, I don't tell everybody that I've had that done. Um, my heaviest weight was 137. Would have been more than that, but that's when I, when I stopped weighing. And now I'm like 73 at the moment. Um, my, yeah, surgeon set my goal for 75. Um, yeah, I try not to let the numbers sort of get too much to me because I feel good and you've got to go buy your clothes and stuff as well, you know. As you know, it's better and even doing your measurements and stuff like that. Yeah, I don't tell everyone that I've had weight loss surgery because it's actually no one's business. It's my business, so if I feel like sharing that, then, you know, good. And like I said in previous vlogs, um, it's not like I went in hospital and they chopped all my fat off. Like, I've worked my ass off. And the sleeve has been perfect for me because... I just used to, um, like it was my portion sizes that were um, helping me stay fat and not exercising. But my cholesterol was exactly the same, you know, at 120 kilos as what it is now. I always ate salads and stuff like that. Mind you, I could demolish a block of chocolate and pretty much one go as well. Um, I hardly even eat chocolate now. It's amazing yeah it's amazing how much you change like I go to the supermarket now and I'm excited when I see the produce on sale and I love the feeling of when I've eaten fruit and that look at night if I did snack after dinner which I don't really very often I might have some fruit or something you know but just you just feel good after it you don't feel like you can eat something crap and you just like eh, wish I didn't eat that afterwards and before I had weight loss surgery the best results I got from trying to lose weight was obviously exercising, eating healthy, and I would have one day a week where I would have a meal whatever I wanted, whether it was fish and chips, KFC, whatever, it doesn't matter, you know. So I would have that get over it and keep get, keep eating good you know and not feeling guilty for it just get straight back on the wagon you know we all fall off the wagon every now and then and that's okay so but yeah we need to stop feeling guilty for stuff like that just need to yeah, get on with it and another great tip is to download some music I I'll go to the gym and the music and there's not really that great amongst the grunting and everyone dropping the weights and all that stuff everywhere but I've got the list of my phone now for my YouTube so I've just been putting heaps of music on there like shuffle music I love um, yeah and it just uh, makes me go faster and harder you know and try new foods we're eating a lot more Asian sort of inspired this year I mean if you watch my channel already, you know that I love cooking. And if you're on my Instagram, you definitely know I love cooking. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, we're just trying to eat more yeah, Vietnamese and all that sort of stuff. So good for you. And all those Chinese veggies, you know, they're so cheap. Chuck a little bit of meat in there or not if you're, you know, vegetarian. Um, yeah, it's good. Get creative in the kitchen and... You know, if you see what I eat, um, yeah, I don't eat, you know, everything I eat is beautiful. And my husband's very lucky that he gets all that beautiful food as well. He's got his own personal chef. Another great thing is also having friends that are sort of into the same thing as you. Obviously, if you're trying to eat healthy and get out and exercise and that sort of stuff, then, you know, you don't want to be sitting around 
eating bad foods and things like that. So, I mean, you know, it's all about choice. I will say to my daughter Talia, if you always do what you've always done, you always get what you've always gotten. And she really hates it. Another thing is definitely avoid temptation. Like, I cannot have Milo in my house. Like, ever. But I, if I bought a tin of Milo today, I'm a goner. I'll put that stuff in a cup and I'll push it down with a spoon and then I'll fill it up with milk and I'll tip the top of the Milo so it floats up the top and I'll eat it. <laughs> we used to go next door to my Nana's and we'd, um, once Nana was out the back, quick, get a spoon. We'd get into the Milo. We'd also get into sweet and condensed milk as well, <laughs> which was so yummy. <laughs> um, yeah, so if there's certain things that you know that you can't control yourself with, then don't buy it. Don't have it in the house. I like to have my own little section in my pantry that is just mummies. So obviously, you know, the kids have, I might buy like multi-packs of chips and stuff like that. But I say to them, I don't eat your food. So these are my little treats. And they actually, yeah, they like, oh, but yeah, they've, they've sort of got to know now. So it's nice for me to feel like, yeah, I've got my own little special spot in there with the things that I like. But yeah, Milo, definitely a no-no for me. And the last thing is just feeling fantastic. And nothing tastes as good as this feels. I love going to the shops and buying clothes that I like. I remember when I was overweight, it was so horrible wearing those ugly Nana shirts and uh, leggings all the time and it was just gross. You know, and sitting on the bed and crying because you're so fat and uh, yeah. Never ever again. Absolutely love shopping. My poor husband's got no cupboard left. So, but he doesn't mind. Um, yeah and i'm going to say the last thing that really keeps me motivated is watching youtubers that are into like their fitness and health and stuff sarah's day she's my number one she's gorgeous i actually met her in perth she came to cotton on so got to meet her meet and greet that was awesome um yeah it's good you get you know some new ideas get some new recipe ideas and stuff like that so that's cool but yeah I've got a few that I love there's domestic geek she's really good she does a lot of um, really healthy meal prep mind over munch is another one health nut nutrition she's pretty cool um, yeah there's a few few good ones that I would definitely recommend if you're trying to get a bit more healthy but um yeah i guess if i was starting out from scratch again it would be definitely do the meal prep obviously exercise do your measurements keep a food diary host keep food diary before that was also when i had the best success as well definitely keeping a food diary um, do your measurements your measurements like you'll just be blown away incredible and another thing would be to reward yourself set little goals I always did five kilos because five kilos is pretty easy to sort of get to you know there's no point saying oh I want to lose 50 kilos this is crazy um, but yeah, once you hit five kilos, you know, and I don't mean food, don't buy, don't reward yourself with food, you're not a dog. Um, buy yourself maybe a clothing voucher or maybe like a voucher from a spa, you know, it only needs to be $20, you know, you just do what you can afford. But yeah, just write down your achievements and yeah, the mind's a powerful thing, you know, so... Oh well guys, I'm quite far into my walk now. I'm gonna put my earphones in, I'm gonna put some music on, I'm gonna smash out my walk. 
I hope you liked my motivational vlog today. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in my next vlog.